Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so now that we can search for students, let's extend this functionality to staff members. Okay, so same situation here. Let's go and take a look. So down here in staff members, it's users.view. And as you can see, we have a similar situation here. So we know the drill by now. And let me copy let me change the span to a button okay save now if you noticed in this we didn't add a method for the form because it defaults to a get method which is exactly what we need so no need to write your method here but you can put it if you want and the method is get but we don't need it so now that we have this button here we can submit and let's put a name here so i just want to copy uh this whole name thing and the value thing because we'll need both of those so i will paste there like so so we have the name find everything stays the same okay so now that we have that uh, we can give it a test run shall we so refresh on staff members so i want to search for anna and there we go so you see it's hanging on so which is good we just need to read a different query altogether so there's a slight very slight difference between the two so i will simply copy this right here let's see i will copy this and put it here copy that actually uh let me just copy the whole thing let's see maybe that is enough and then if i now go to users because that's the stuff thingy i will paste here like so and um yeah so this is the original wait a minute wait a minute this isn't the original query what did i paste here so that is the original query here so let me redo what i did here and so what I need to do is move this whole thing down here. Okay. And then I will cut the query out from here. Wait a minute. What's going on here? These are not students. What's happening? Oh, it says not in. Okay. I see. I was getting confused with the query here thinking it's looking for students when it's supposed to be looking for staff members so let me add the query variable there and then replace this query here at the top with the one that was here and then do the same thing here as well i will copy the just the inside of the query maybe without the order copy and then I want to replace all of this up to where it starts first name, last name, etc. Like so. Okay. So this one reads select all from users where school ID, school ID rank, not in student. So as long as it's not a student and first name like find, last name like find. Cool. And find is right here. So that's good. That is good. That is good. And then here, instead of all this, we're going to replace this with the new array that we created, which is a r r like so. And that should be it, actually. So let me try again. And there we go. See that? Okay. So John. There we go. So you see that it's matching both the first name and the last name because this J O matches the last name of this one. Here it matches the first name. So, yeah, there we go. Those be the search results. Let's try some gibberish and no members were found at this time. Okay, great. So that's looking good. So now that we have paginated that, we can try one more pagination on the profile, should we? Or maybe we try on the classes right here so let's try on the classes let's add a search 
uh, and I will go to users here and let me copy this whole nav bar copy and let's go to classes dot view so the classes are right here this is the title just under the title I will put my nav bar like this so let's refresh in classes so there we go now we have a search but then there's add new there which we don't need we should replace with uh, this one we should replace this put it there so this is the part for the add new but let's see um classes include where is that this is the one and that's where we have the add new in here which is right about there so there's all this if statement there so we're going to cut everything out of here so cut let me make sure that i don't need any extra stuff that only resides in this file so cut this save that come back to classes view and we want to replace this one we've added in the nav bar so i'm just going to replace all that and paste like this so that should do it yes like so great so let's refresh and there we go so empty here add new we're still going to add new class which is nice and then now we still have this search thingy okay great we only need to make it work because it's working here we just need to uh, deal with the query so to deal with the query of course I'm going to go to classes here this is the controller for that one and let's look at what we have here so it seems we have different queries for different situation here what is this for though? Uh, if oath is admin we see all classes right and then if you're not logged in as an admin you see something else hmm you see only the classes that you are responsible for so even the search here should reflect that yeah an admin should be able to search for any class but uh, a nun and a teacher should be able to only search for their own classes so to fix that issue we're going to use the um, is this here we'll do the if statement again so let me just copy that and this like this copy let's come to classes.php let's try for when you're an admin paste move that in okay so if that's it we do that we get the query and yeah so let me just cut this as we did before put query there like so and then go up here and say query is equal to and paste cool and let's put an array here where is this array right there copy paste and then we have find them and we change this to aar and uh, yeah let's see now so this is the original query let's copy that except for the order by and then let's replace this up to there okay But now the find here, let me remove the second part. Let me go to classes and see what we are searching for. So in classes, there's just class, that's the, uh, the column name and that's all we need to search for. So class name and uh, 
instead of first name it's class like that okay cool so let's test this as a um, let's refresh so nothing found so second okay first okay good anyone named class there we go so it's working very well only that this only works if you are the admin but if you are something else it will not work so the advantage here is that we already have a um uh, let's see here okay so this is a little bit more complex and let's do it in a separate video for now uh, the reason it's complex is because there are two tables we are reading from here and the first one and then the second one here so uh, we'll fix it in another video for now let's concentrate on the pagination and i'll see you in the next video